Hey everybody. Hey. How are we? Good morning. It's Monday. So I want to apologize for completely bugging out half of last week. I actually had some people kind of message me like, are you okay? Uh, just know that sometimes energetically I just have to detach and uh, there's just no way around it. Um, so that full moon, as the full moons have been affecting me these past couple of years, was wow was really wow. So um, energetically, I just was exhausted. I was um, physically had some things going on that was uncomfortable. So it was just big. It was big. So um, it was really kind of, and everything happens for a reason. I haven't done a weekly reading in a long time, but I don't know if you recognize last week I did a re weekly reading because something must have told me I wasn't going to be able to finish out the week on the dailies with you guys. So that was there. Um, and then I also was able to film a, a pick a card for the full moon. So if you haven't had a chance to look at that, um, just know that that energies of that pick a card are for this full moon to the next full moon. So I would say take a look at that if you haven't had an opportunity to because it's there and it was good stuff. It was really good stuff. I ended up doing instead of three, I did five. So, um, and uh, they're all based on crystals. So, um, yeah, definitely take a look at that. So, good morning, Serena. Good morning, Kara. Oh, thanks, Kara. Yeah, my daughter's not happy with me, um, but I really did. I chopped off about four inches um, off the bottom, and then I just had it thinned out. I have enough hair for at least four people to have a nice head of hair, okay? So, it's heavy, and um, during the pandemic, it got the longest it's been since I was, like, 25, and really heavy. And then, um, so I've just been going kind of shorter and shorter and shorter. Hopefully this is about as short as we're going to get. Um, because I don't want to go, sh well, part of me wants to go shorter. But, um, yeah, I think, so thank you. So we'll see. Stay tuned. The hair is always a saga with me just because it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. All right. So if you did not get a look, uh, a chance to take a look at that pick a card, it is on, um, YouTube. It is on YouTube. And um, it's there. And so I use crystals. Yeah, I use crystals. That was that was that was the good part. Okay. Um, so I'm just trying to put my decks together because I didn't. Um, and now I can't use my decks because I've got decks, I've got cards all over the place because um, I used so the pick a card. I used uh, four or five different decks. So the messages are pretty hammer, hammer you home, hammer you home. So if you really are struggling with issues, if you're really struggling with um, what's been going on in your life, and I know many of you have, um, please uh, feel free to um, take a look at that. It's on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what happened was uh, growing up, my mother always cut her hair short because she had <laughs> five kids and she just didn't have time for us girls. And we all had thick hair. And so, and um, she didn't really, you know, my mother wasn't one of those like girly girls that like knew what to do with girls' hair. So she just cut her hair short. So now there's a part of me that it wants to rebel and not cut my hair short um, because it was cut short my whole childhood. <laughs> So there's this part of me that really wants to go short, and this other part of me that's like, no, you always had to have it short. So sometimes these childhood things, people, really do mess up your head, your psyche. All right, I'm missing a deck. I really want to use a specific deck, and I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I've lost. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm like, I know it's here. I know I didn't, I didn't, I, I know. If you guys could see my desk, you would be like, um, yeah, maybe you should take some time too. <laughs> I actually cleaned the office um, last week. So the office is good, but the desk area, I need more. That's what it is. I need more desk area. And um, funny, my daughter must have known that because she actually sent me the picture of like this corner desk where it's like, it, it's big, yeah, because I just, I need more room. I have, um, <laughs> I have stuff. I have uh, card decks all over the place, and my printer, and my journal, and uh, IET, and uh, crystals, and candles, and 
Oh my. <laughs> All right, let's see what the message is for us today. <sighs> I'm just going to ask that we get the most beneficial message for those of us that are here and those of us that are watching the replay. I'm going to ask my guides, angels, and ascended masters of crystalline white light to come in and connect with us now. Help us with those messages. <sighs> All right. So one flew out, so we have the message started. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, thanks, Nicole. Hey, Joanna. Thank you. Good morning. Hey, Carm. All right, so the message is starting with Page of Fire, creative, enthusiastic, motivated. So yes, many of you are coming into this really nice, um, um, energetic energy of newness. But, um, you know, pages are all about um, uh, brand new. So this is like like brand new energy. This is um, you getting creative in a way that maybe you've not been creative before, or it was always kind of roaming around, and you were like, "Can't do that. That's that's too much." Um, but it is. It's about getting excited about what you want to be creative about. It's about kind of like that child, that childlike enthusiasm. That's what it feels like. That childlike enthusiasm that you really are coming into this beautiful time in space of. Um, ready to, to, to leap or to move. And if you look at the Law of Attraction card that I pulled today, it was about stepping into whatever you want to step into with that excitement, with that enthusiasm. So this message is definitely being hammered today, that it is time to just go in the direction that feels good. It's not about uh, what you think you should do. It's not about what other people want you to do. This is about you coming into this childlike enthusiasm of this is the way I'm going. And you're either on board or you're not, because I'm I'm on fire. I'm going. So um, because of that energy, the creativity may start flowing. You may start getting ideas, um, or those ideas that have always been kind of roaming around are now coming forward. Um, so a lot of good good energy coming towards you. Yeah, because the night of water is here, romantic, emotional, and dramatic. So this is new emotional energy to help you feel that this is the right way to go, um, that it's a grounded energy. It is a, um, it is a oof, ready, just readiness, like you're ready. You're ready for the creativity. You're ready for the enthusiasm. And you've got this night of water coming in saying, you've got it. We, we are supporting you. Um, for some of you, this is going to be a partnership. For some of you, this is going to be you kind of opening up your heart, getting ready to do that. Getting ready to say, I'm going to embrace being in love and I'm going to embrace loving those around me, whether they were difficult relationships in the past. And, you know, this is kind of um, kind of fortuitous that this is coming out today because many of us are going to be with family members that maybe we haven't been with in a long time this week. So this is like, it's okay. It's okay to open your heart. It's okay to be compassionate. It's okay to be empathetic. Um, it's okay to um, allow um, yourself to engage um, because... You're ready. You're ready to stand in your power. You're ready to um, allow the uh, enthusiasm and the motivation push you forward. Yeah, because the sixth of Earth is here to say you're you're stable. Uh, charity, community, windfall. That you are stable. You're you're stable financially. You're stable physically. You're stable mentally. You're ready. You're ready to start receiving um, all that's for you. And when you're ready, when you're ready to receive, when you're enthusiastic, when you're living in love, when you're really feeling good about everything, everything around you feels good. The people around you feel good. Your situations around you feel good. And the people that have been typically not great in the past, um, they feel you're feeling good. And um, it does help them kind of level their game up. So for many of you that are going to some difficult family situations, just know that because of your energy and, and the difference within you, it's going to affect them. So, you know, what was normally a different, uh, a difficult relationship, you know, may not be a great relationship, but it, it won't be as difficult. Um, they may step back a little bit. But um, outside of that, it feels like um, 
we are coming into stable energy. We are coming into abundance. We are coming into things falling into place. And for some of us, that stability is in romance, is in partnership, is in um, a new relationship. Um, and it's because you are enthusiastic. You are ready. You're jumping in. You're all in. You're, you're ready to go. And so, um, and that is what is bringing the abundance, the abundance of love, the abundance of money, the abundance of stability. So for those of you who've really had a closed down heart or you've really been beat up in the relationship area, just know that um, you're healing, you're healing and you're, you're being supported and guided in that healing. Um, yeah, seven of earth, investment, assessment, patience. Yeah, because you've, you've done the work. You've, you've taken the time out, you've really looked at where you're going, and now it's about moving forward. It's about you feeling good about where you're going, that you have put the investment in. You have put the time in for yourself. You have um, been surrendering to the process, or for some of you, you're going to start surrendering to the process. You're recognizing that what um, hasn't been working around you isn't working, and now it's time to say letting go and letting God. Because look at that, they're right there to support you, they're right behind you, and they're helping you find the abundance, helping you find the relationship, helping you find the courage to step into relationships that are coming towards you. Yeah, because you are coming, look, look at this, now we're into the king of earth, look at that. And I love it, it's very Thanksgiving like he's holding a pie. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, you're coming into your sovereignty. You're coming into your divinity. You're coming into the, your groundedness. You're coming into um, everything that which is for me, I'm ready for. I'm going to be enthusiastic. I'm going to be um, grounded. I'm ready. I'm going to know that it's okay to open my heart. It's okay to be loving and compassionate that I'm not going to get hurt in the way that I got hurt in the past because um, now that I know better, I do better. Am I Angelo? All right. So this really feels like you're moving into this nice, grounded, structured energy of you've, you've put in the work and now you're reaping the rewards. And for some of you, you're still in the energy of um, learning. Some of you are still um, letting go of toxic situations. Some of you are still letting go of situations that no longer serve you that don't feel good. And this is where you're headed. You really are headed into this abundance, this groundedness, this feeling good, this divinity or sovereignty that you are coming into your own. And it's because you're coming into your own that are, there are a lot of situations around you that have to go, have to leave your uh, situation, have to leave you. And for some of you, it's going to feel uncomfortable because it's going to be that job that you really wanted. For some of you, it's going to be... Um, that partner that you thought was going to be the one for the rest of whatever. So for some of you, you really are kind of in the midst of the change in the transformation, but just know that this is what you're coming into. You're coming into the solid. You're coming into the protected. You're coming into the uh, stability. You're coming into your own. You're coming into emotional stability. You're coming into uh, feeling good about opening your heart and being compassionate. You're coming into knowing that you're protected and that things are working out for you, that you're not alone, that you are going to have the abundance. And, you know, when you're happy on the outside, you're happy. When you're happy on the inside, you're happy on the outside. But um, for some of you, that happiness is going to reflect in your finances. For some of you, you've been holding yourself back because you haven't looked for the new job or you haven't been willing to walk away from a situation that didn't serve you and that's been holding you down. And when you're not making the choices and decisions that you're being brought to because of the fear, the free will choice of saying, but I really want to stay in this situation because even though it's not great, it's where I resonate, you're holding yourself off. You're holding yourself off from the abundance and the blessings. You're blocking yourself. You're not allowing yourself to receive that which is for you. And for some of you, that translates into money. For some of you, that translates into when you're feeling better, you're better all the way around. You're better emotionally, spiritually, physically, financially. Um, and so that's why it's so important for you to really kind of step back and reflect. You know, where am I holding myself back in this situation? You know, why do I still feel like I'm spinning my wheels and not getting where I want to go? Why do I feel like um, I, I stay in this situation because it feels safe and stable, but these, uh, these awful things keep happening to me? Or I don't get the promotion, or I don't get the movement, okay? Uh, because there's something there, spirits trying to help you go in a new direction, and you're, you're, you're holding on to what was. And it just feels like um, it's time to get into the... 
Yeah. It's time to get into the surrender, to know that where you're going is going to be protected. It is going to be the investment in your future. Um, so right now to, to do the reflection and the patience isn't patience as waiting for something to show up and appear for you. The patience is that divine patience of surrender. I don't know how, I don't know when things are going to change, but I'm going to keep going um, and making the choices and decisions I'm being brought to because I know things are going to work out for me. I know things are going to be okay. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I know that's where I'm headed if I start making the choices and decisions that are best for me, not for anyone else, not for a past situation, not for the old, but for the new going forward. And so for some of you, it is about looking around and putting your resume out or networking and saying, hey, I'm looking for something new. For some of you, it is about maybe, you know, just letting your friends know, hey, I'm looking for someone. I'm ready to meet someone, um, you know, or maybe it's just having that internal dialogue with yourself that, okay, you're ready to change. You're ready to move. You're ready to open yourself up. And now it's time to take the steps. So that's what the, so we're moving in, definitely we're moving in grounded. I mean, there's four, no, there's three of the five cards are pentacles. So we're moving into grounded. We're moving into safety and security and stability. But um, we have to use a little um, opening up emotionally. And we have to use a little fire to get us going, um, to get uh, motivated and creative. So I just, I really like this reading today. I really do. Um, Sometimes we need that. You'll receive what you want. Because if you stay uncomfortable, you're not going to get anything different. You're not going to get anything new. There's no way things can change for you in a positive way. I hate it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. And, uh, yeah. So, and I've got some change going on I'm breathing into that I thought I was going to be in this situation for a very long time, and it ended up being way less time than I thought. And so sometimes we just have to breathe into the change and just allow it. And just know that where you're going is going to be better. It's going to be more productive. It's going to be more beneficial. It's going to be um, happier, easier, because you're in the flow. All right, so we hit, oh, 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 so the card that fell out, I thought it was one card, it was two cards, so now we have three cards. Well, if you've been watching me for any time at all, and you know when spirit gives us extra, I get very excited. <laughs> it just is what it is. All right, so we are going to get some advice from the Kyle Gray uh, angel guy, and a lot of advice, as it, as it turns out. All right, so intuition and downloads, boom, there it is, and that's why... Um, for some of you, you are feeling like, um, I don't want to change, I don't want to change, I don't want to change, because you can feel it. You've gotten the download that things are shifting, that your experience isn't going to stay the same. And so you're doing this thing where you're like, no, 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 where spirit needs you to open up, breathe into it, and know that this is for you, because you are receiving the intuition and downloads that are bringing you to that which is for you. Whether that's a new relationship, whether that's a new job, whether that's a new situation, whether that's an internal shift that is going to absolutely impact your external positively, but yes, it's time to embrace it. And so for some of you, you have been having headaches, you have been having nausea, you have been having fatigue. Um, I slept for four hours yesterday after a beautiful IET session. Um, so for some of you, it really is about um, really stepping back and allowing the intuition downloads to kind of settle into your vibration, to settle into your energetic signature, because in the next days um, and weeks to follow, you'll start getting those epiphanies, you'll start getting that clarity, you'll start getting and receiving um, the dreams or the messages or the signs that this is your way forward, all right? So right now it's about just taking care of yourself, but knowing that this intuition and these downloads, this is your way forward, this is your roadmap, and it's time to get quiet so that you can receive the roadmap. Yeah, and for some of you, <laughs> romance and connection. And these cards keep coming out because I know right now um, we just started a planetary shift that is all about opening us up. And uh, I can't tell you what it is. Um, hmm, yeah, 
uh, but I've, I've read it a couple times now. So if you haven't looked at the astrology, definitely look at the astrology because for some of us, um, we're definitely coming into new partnership, new romantic romantic connections, new love, and it's going to be op important for us to open up to it. All right. So for some of you, you are going to be meeting a soulmate, a divine counterpart. And it doesn't mean that connection necessarily will be easy, but it will be good in many ways. All right. And it always doesn't mean, too, that it's going to be your forever partner. Um, you know, sometimes we have people come into our lives for a period of time and we either help them or they help us in whatever part of the journey we, we meet each other on. So, you know, again, if you've got situations right now that are kind of leaving your life and you're really sad about it because you really thought this person was going to be with you for a while, just know that whatever part you played in their life or they played in your life was very, very important and to, to embrace that part of the connection and that whoever's coming is, is going to be another part of the journey and it will also be good in its way. Um, yeah, so right now it is going to be important to embrace uh, being courageous and brave as these changes happen. Because for some of you, they will be big changes. They will be being dumped out of that job you thought you were going to keep or dumped out of that relationship that you thought you were going to uh, grow into old age with. So for some of you, it is going to be about really embracing the courage and the bravery that you need to know, I'm going to be okay. Whatever this change is bringing... And maybe I don't want it, and maybe um, it doesn't feel good at all. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to keep praying, asking for the healing, asking for the courage, asking for the help. Um, I'm going to keep meditating and receiving the messages and getting in connection with my higher self because my higher self has the roadmap, and I'm going to trust that where I'm being led is where I need to be. And just breathe into it. Let go of the how and the when. Allow things to unfold. And just know that you're on your path in alignment with where you need to be going for you. Not easy. Not easy. I don't say these words lightly because I've been in situations. I actually just dreamt about a situation uh, that I got dumped out of many years ago. And I'm still getting clarity on, you know, what that was all about in my life. And so it's... Uh, it's a process, and this life is a journey, and there is really no destination. It's all about the process. So if you can learn to lean into the process and know that whatever you're being given or whatever you're being taken from, it is the right, the right course for you, even though our free will wants to stay where we're used to, uh, spirit is always going to take us to where we need to be. And so uh, learning how to surrender to that is really paramount and it took me years and years guys so I know this is not an easy thing um, not an easy thing at all but it is worth it and it makes all the difference thank you Dana thank you all right I'm just going to pull uh, and ask Angel uh, just to kind of give us some advice from the angels more yeah Everything is going to work out for your highest and greatest good. You just have to believe. You just have to believe. Just trust. Trust. Do your part. Know that you are being protected. Look at the Merkaba she's holding on to. Metatron is with you, guiding you, teaching you, helping you. So you can always uh, ask him. Ask him for help. Ask him for clear signs. So, feels like he just wanted to come in today. Um, for uh, many of you, if you've been following me, you know that I work with Metatron, um, especially in my IET sessions. Him and Uriel tend to pop in because they I work with them, I channel them, and uh, they're always with me. I always feel them. So he wanted to make his presence known today <coughs> by coming through in that car <coughs> that you can invoke him. You can ask him. You can absolutely develop that relationship with him. That is why these ascended masters and archangels are with us, um, to help us, to guide us. So absolutely uh, partner with your team. Um, and if you're someone who's taken a class with me, you know that we talk about building that relationship, getting in connection in a way that you have conversations back and forth. So you can ask for clarity. You can ask for clear signs. So do that, please, um, all of you. 
Uh, so yeah, that's what I've got for you today. I feel like this was a longer message. I feel like um, it got started kind of slow. So if you've watched the whole video and you've made it through to the end, uh, thank you. Thank you for being here with me because I know it really started off kind of slow this morning. But it's Monday. It is Monday. So I'm going to send you lots of blessings, um, a lot of love, and thank you, Dana. Thank you. And just know that um, if you are on a healing journey, um, we are doing the integrative energy therapy sessions. Um, via Zoom. Uh, it is a uh, distance healing modality that works very well because once I'm in your energy, I'm in your energy. And I've been working with people from California. I've been working, I've been working with several people from California actually on the West Coast. Uh, I've been working from, uh, with people um, on other continents, uh, Australia, uh, Europe. So um, this is definitely a modality that lends itself for distance. Um, the angels come in and uh, we, we partner together. I am really just the vessel. Um, the higher energy, vibrational frequency beings come in and really do the work. So I work with the nine archangels uh, headed by Archangel Ariel, the Archangel of Love. So, um, and it's beautiful healing. It's beautiful transformation and it is profound. Um, it is not one and done. So if you're someone who really is struggling, I would um, encourage you to look at the package, which is uh, three sessions. It is $100 off uh, if you did uh, three individual sessions. So it is it is a bargain. And then the other thing, too, is right now we do have the 25% off on one session. So if you're someone that has been wanting to try it but unsure about it, what is the process? What does it entail? What's it going to feel like? Um, I would encourage you to uh, use coupon code HEAL2021 and get 25% off. But many, many of my uh, students, many, many of my um, clients, um, beautiful souls who have been letting me partner with them on their healing journey have left me beautiful testimonials. So please take a look at that on my Facebook page, and some of them are on my website. So lots of good stuff going on, and I know that this time of year can be very, very difficult for those of you who feel isolated or alone. Um, so if you're looking um, for connection, if you're looking um, for connection from your loved ones who've crossed over, we do have the 30-minute and 60-minute sessions, whether we do intuitive uh, guidance, we look at your energy, or mediumship, uh, we get in connection with your crossed over loved ones. So uh, lots of good stuff going on, guys, and I'm here for you, and I thank each and every one of you who I've worked with and who I continue to work with, and I'm really looking forward to those of you who are ready to partner with me and move on your journey and not stay stuck. All right. Sending you lots of love. Have a beautiful rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.